Hi guys. So I've been saying I was going to do a personalized coffee mug video. And I have found that if you go to... Sorry about the shadowing. I'm jacking with my hair. If you go to like Dollar Tree and you're able to find like a solid white set. Or if you have metallic markers, you could even go with a solid black set of plates and bowls and coffee mugs. You can personalize all of those things, provided that they're not plastic. You can't be putting plastic in your oven. Bad mess. So, I'm hoping that people know that. And, yeah, come on. Anyway, I also found with coffee mugs that have a pattern on it like this, you can highlight areas of this coffee mug with markers, be it metallic or even just the colors that's on here already. You can highlight it, give it a little bit of depth and dimension, which I think is cool. So all you're going to need is, because we're just working with coffee mugs today, is you'll need coffee mugs and you can get them um, plain without the ribs on them or you can get the kind like this that's got the ribbed detail on it. I grabbed these because it's the ones that my Dollar Tree had. I do have some plain ones that I'll show later in the video that I've already done. And then you're going to need rubbing alcohol in case you mess up. Paper towels to go with that in case you mess up. You'll need permanent markers. Now, there are all different kinds of permanent markers out there. Let's just say that. Bic has a set of permanent markers. We all know Sharpie is permanent markers. Um, this don't belong in there. This little box back here is what I keep all my markers in. I absolutely love it. It's a box I got a long time ago. Well, I got it a year ago, actually. At um, Dollar General. Love it. Use it all the time. Anyway... There are also, I don't know the name brand on this. I'm going to have to look. There's also this Accu, what is it? Accu. It's Mon Amani Accu Liner. This one here. This is my silver metallic marker that I like to use because it works fantastic. So it doesn't matter what color it's on, it always works. These here, though, it just says ink, and then it says permanent markers, fine tip. And while they do have a pretty good fine tip, these don't bake as well as the Bic or the Sharpie or even this Monomani AccuLiner. I had a gold one, but I used it all up. Anyway, I'm rambling. So, I won't use these guys because... They don't, the colors discolor, they don't bake out well. I don't know why, what makes them different, but when you bake them, they completely discolor. Now, warning, because I ran across this. When you're working on any mug, I would say, this lime green, the yellow, and the orange, they will discolor. The yellow comes out kind of a brownish color. The orange is kind of orange red, if you will. So those don't bake out well from my experience. Now the orange one on my orange mug looked really well. However, on the white, no. So we won't be using those. And on green and blue, I need things that are going to stand out. This gray, I don't know if it's got a specific, I don't think it does. It's just a charcoal gray. That doesn't show up on most of the stuff. Even on white, it didn't show up well. So, I don't like using that guy. Probably what I'm going to use on these two markers is I'm probably going to use the blue, the black, and a, and a purple. Possibly highlight with a pink, I don't know, and we'll more than likely use the silver. So that's really all you need and an oven. 
So all you're going to do is clean your mug of all labels, which I'll do off camera. I just start picking at it. Then you're going to wash it and dry it. Make sure it's ex extremely dry. And then you're going to write on it with your marker, whatever you want it to say, whatever personalization you want. And then you're going to let it sit for six hours and cure. Then you bake it in the oven at 400 degrees for one hour. But if you find that you mess up or you don't like how it looks, it's an easy fix before you bake it. Now after you bake it, you can't do this, but before you bake it, just get some rubbing alcohol and put that on there and then wipe it off with a paper towel. It dissolves the ink, so it makes it a whole lot easier. On a um, plain mug there, I'll use the same marker just to give you an idea. You can write anything on these things. I mean, anything. Because it's up to you. You're the one personalizing it. So, I'm not going to leave this on here. Let's see. It comes out. I'm, already the orange looks much better on the screen. I can tell you that. And you can do anything you want with it. You see how shaky my hand is? I always have to study it on something. But these are so easy and they're fun. And if you were receiving a personalized mug, say from your kids, you can do this with your kids. Um... I'd make sure, you know, because over time, sitting in a room with all these markers open, it can get a bit toxic. So make sure that you're in a well-ventilated area, especially if you're with children. Whoops. Okay, there, I messed up. Let's show you how to fix that. Since I'm not leaving this on here, I'm going to show you what I mean by the alcohol dissolves the ink. I'm simply going to pour some on there. See how quickly it started? That's kind of cool. I like that. I wish I could leave it like that. I don't know if I can. Maybe I'll have to play with that. Play with that idea. Kind of dab it. No. I'm going to figure out a way to do that. I liked it. some on my fingers. And that's how quickly you take it away. Okay, so once you get your plates and cups designed the way that you want them, you want to put them in a 400 degree oven for 60 minutes. On the plates, I'm going to check them after 45 because I've never done plates before, nor have I done the pattern. Um, type mugs. So I'm going to check all three of those after 45 minutes and see how they're doing. But the coffee mugs go exactly 60 minutes. Okay, once your timer goes off and they've baked, your stuff is baked for 60 minutes, turn the oven off and allow these, your plates, bowls, whatever, to cool completely with the oven. You know, as the oven cools, the cups plates, whatever, will cool with it. So allow it to cool in the oven completely. The reason that you allow it to cool completely in the oven is you have less of a likelihood of it breaking than if you just pull it out into cooler air. So allow it to cool in your oven and it should be fine. Anyway, as you can see, I have a variety of things here that I have personalized. A lot of the coffee mugs are coffee mugs that my son will take with him when he moves out. When I originally made the screen name Too Sweet for BS, it was back in 1998. So I put established 1998. Anyway, I have that one. And then the plates obviously believe, peace, and love. Those are all kind of self explanatory, they're all positive things to think about and positive things that you hope for in your life so that's why I did that and I'm making myself a set of plates 
I made a full set of four of the big ones and four of the smaller ones that have this love design on them for my best friend's son and his new wife for their wedding present which they're over the moon about because they're one of a kind I mean the only other person that has that is me and it's because this one I flubbed up on a little bit and then there's another one that I kind of flubbed up on a little bit so I redid them anyway another thing that I used to say to my son and I still do is you're my purpose in this life I was put on this earth to be your mom I am blessed so he'll always have that positive thought with him because I do believe that you know before I became a mom I had no idea what I was supposed to be doing with my life you know none of us really ever do until sometime after we've been doing something whatever it is and then the aha moment hits and I know within me that there are a lot of things that can be said but the one thing that anybody that knows me and knows me as a mother the one thing that will ring true to all of them is that I've been a good mom and my son was always put first he always will be until the day I die because God blessed me with that gift and I didn't want to squander that gift if you know what I mean so anyway we used to say silly things like I love you I love you more and then the next person would say I love you the most and then the next one would say I love you the mostest even though that's not a word and then I love you the most bestest which is not a word either but it's a word in our house because we have fun with it we don't take life too seriously most of the time so that's just a few of them I did the floral design um, and I did highlights on it it turned out really well I just don't know where I put it so that's why it's not sitting out here this one was just little sayings that he used to say when he was little he came up with little words so I put that on there and then this one was a candle holder from a candle that I'd gotten I guess at Walmart or something like that and I didn't know what to do with this little container I mean sure with, there's a lot of uses for them you could put another candle in it but I didn't want to do that so because I have candles everywhere but I thought you know we always have loose change and it always tends to be laying on a dresser or laying on a table or something like that so I made a coin keeper just to stick your coins in and this bakes also because I mean if it if it's tempered enough to hold a candle with a flame then it can go in your oven on the flimsy little bitty ones the little bitty um, candle holders that hold like tea lights those I would not put in a 400 degree oven and the reason that I wouldn't is because it's such a thin glass I don't know if it'll break or not so I'm not taking that chance because I don't want to clean up glass out of my oven but anything that is tempered glass or ceramic like all of this stuff here is ceramic we know it's tempered because you can put hot, hot coffee in it you can put it in your dishwasher which runs approximately between well mine runs at 425 degree water so if it can withstand that and not break then it and it and screaming hot coffee or hot chocolate then it's tempered enough to go in my oven for an hour I wouldn't do it regularly but that's how you can tell so all of these things came from the Dollar Tree minus this uh, candle holder this candle holder came from Walmart quite some time back but all of the coffee mugs and the plates came from the Dollar Tree so I put a caption in the video about 
Dollar Tree markers. And they're just permanent markers. They come in a package with green, blue, black, and red. This is what they look like. They're just, they're, they just say permanent marker on them. That's all. I tried these on plates and coffee mugs. They do not work. Let me just say that. When you put them in the oven, they go on okay. They cure okay. But when you put them in the oven, they do, I don't know how to explain it, but they do not bake well at all. They kind of spread out like they bleed a little. I don't know. But just don't use these. Don't even bother. Because they're junk. As a matter of fact, the only thing that I would use these for is if I were making a poster of some sort, like a garage sale poster or something like that. You know what I mean? Which I'm not having any garage sales, so I wouldn't use it for that either. Um, but I would not use it for this type of project. I would stick with either Bic or Sharpie. Those are the two that I've had the best luck with and that have done the absolute best. So just keep that in mind whenever you're doing this and Dollar Tree does have black and red sharpies and the other day I saw a blue one there but those are the only colors of sharpies that I've seen there so yeah you can get sharpies anywhere and if you keep an eye out at Walgreens every now and then they put them on sale so you can get a good deal on them there, which is where I got so many of them. And it was last year that I got them. I think I got them for like 10 cents a piece. At any rate, I'm rambling. Just don't use those markers, these markers from the Dollar Tree, on this type of project because they don't work well.